Alright, now I've just cut a trash bag with a hole around it. And I got the countertop a little wet underneath. So then that way it'll kind of stick without sliding around. See that, that trash bag, see how it slides around here, but it's not sliding around on here. Just keep it back away from this because you don't want this to have a trash bag and wrinkled paint look to it. Now we're just going to get our paint on here and we're just using a small foam roller and we're just going to put the paint on just like this. Now I've already done the bottom half. Now I'm going to come up here and I'm going to work the top half. Okay. And again, you're just using the small foam roller and I'm just using a gloss paint. And this is actually an exterior paint and I find it works best on these wood columns. And it's by Dutch Boy and it's called Door and Trim White. It's called Ultra White. Ultra White. And I'll put that information below. And you just want to make sure that when you're doing this, that you don't get any streaking. Go over it really well. Just keep working it and keep going over it until you do it the way you like it. And this is a high gloss paint. Keep going over it. You can see as it dries, it's starting to get more and more glossy as it dries. And when you first put it on, it might look a little patchy. That's normal, but when it completely dries, you won't see that, that gray and that white difference. You'll think, oh, I don't have good coverage. Make sure you get the bottom really well. But yeah, in any places like this, you can fill in with wood dough, places that people have hit, or just natural parts of the wood might have. These are real wood, so. Just make sure that you get it all smoothed out really nicely. You've got no drips, no runs. You see any place you miss it, you can always go back, like right here. I can always go back and hit that with some wood dough. Here's another spot. To me, to me, this is the character in the wood. So, I mean, you could leave it. But if it bothers you, you could fill it in with a little wood dough. Okay. All right. And that's how you paint a post. Okay. Just use your small foam roller. I'll show that to you close, closer. It's a small foam roller, and that's what will do it. Now these do tend to drip a lot, so there you go. And that's coat number two, and I think that will be plenty. Let's show you up here and let's show you the difference. Okay, here's how I cut that trash bag around here. And see how I got the, the countertop a little wet to help hold this down to keep it from sliding? See how it slides on here? But it doesn't slide where I got the countertop wet. Perfect. You just got to be sure and keep the plastic away from the post so you don't get a rippled effect on your paint. And then there's the difference. You can see the difference between what I painted and what's going up. All right. This is builder Janie Pendleton. We hope this has helped you learn how to paint a real wood column and what paint and what roller you actually want to use. All right. And I can say that I am a professional painter because I've been paid for many years to paint. And I own a construction company. So, and my parents, I grew up with a paint store. My dad had a paint store and we were raised at the back of that paint store. It's a joy to paint with Foy, Foy Johnson Paints. It was downtown Indianapolis. If you remember Foy Johnson Paints, downtown Indianapolis, leave a comment below. And if your father was a painter when you grew up, leave a comment below. I'd love to hear some of those stories. Be sure and subscribe. Be sure and hit that thumbs up button. That shows us that what we're bringing to you is uh, types of videos and tutorials that you want to see more of. All right. Blessings.
the electricity just went out. Did you see that? I got that on film. Yep, and back on it comes. It's Saturday too, so I'm not sure what's going on. That Okay, so there it is. Now when this dries, um, I'll come back through here and then peel off the plastic and the tape. Alright, so now on to the next one. We'll be right back.